Today, I'll show you how to increase the maximum file upload size in WordPress. You'll probably get this error or you'll get this information if you're trying to upload a PDF or an image onto your site or a plugin or a theme, and you might see this. Most hosting providers, they'll set the default maximum file upload, and most of them will range anywhere from two megabytes all the way up to say 500 megabytes. And most website owners, that's fine for them. But there are some times when you might want to increase that. Say you run a photography website or you're designing a photography portfolio. Maybe you sell digital products and things like that. You might need a little bit larger one. So let's walk through this process. First thing you can do is you can check what is your maximum file upload size by heading over to your WordPress dashboard. Let's go to media. And when you go to click add new, you see the maximum file upload size underneath the drop files somewhere on here. So we have 512 as our max file upload size right now. The first thing that you can do is just contact your WordPress hosting provider. Just head over to your hosting provider's website like Bluehost, click on the chat tab and then just request that. Now, method two, you can create or edit an existing php.ini file. This is where the file size is set in the php.ini. So you want to go to, say, your Bluehost. I'm going to show you an example with Bluehost, their panel, but something similar should be in any of your hosting provider's dashboard. Once you log in, you can go to advanced, and then this will show some of the features that you need to change. We want to scroll down to software and I want to choose the multi PHP INI editor. And you want to scroll down until you find upload max file size. This is the one we're looking for. So we want to make this change. And you want it to be in the number followed by the M, the capital M. Click apply. And then you should be able to go back to your media library. Click add new. And then it'll show there. Now note, if you're trying to go up past a certain amount, for instance, I was trying to go past 512, that might not work because they may have their own limit. So 512 in our case for Bluehost was probably the limit for us. So just know that if you do it and you don't see a change, that might be why. So you can do it in the basic mode, but you can also switch over to the editor mode if you want to see the whole editor here and make changes in there, you can do that as well. Method three is by adding code to your WordPress theme functions.php file. So this is something that we usually don't recommend doing because then if you ever change themes, then the functions.php will need to be updated. So you want to make sure that you copy these snippets of code over before you change it. You could also add a plugin like a snippets plugin so that it happens without the theme changes. But in this case, you can make the change if you go to appearance, theme file editor, You get a quick warning that any changes that you make can cause problems. You want to come over on the right and look for the functions.php. And from this, we can scroll all the way down and start a new line. And then you just want to copy this little bit of code that we'll have in the written description. If you go to the written description, it has this bit of code that you can add. And that should also change it. Method four is by editing your HT access file. You can either do that through FTP. If you're comfortable with doing that, you can open up your HT access file with your FTP. I'll also show you a quick way. If you're running something like all in one SEO, they allow you to make changes and edit your HT access file from there. So what we can do is I have all in one SEO, even the free version. So I'm going to go to all in one SEO. Let's go to tools and we'll go to HT access editor. This is our HT access file basically that is on here. So I'm going to go all the way down and I'm going to paste. Again, this is in the written description. You can get this bit of code, but it shows all of this information that I want to add. We'll click save changes. And now the HT access file has been updated. Method five is you can use a WordPress plugin to increase the file size if you want. So aside from using the all-in-one SEO, we can go to plugins, add new, and this is specifically to increase your max file size. We're going to use something called WP increase upload file size. And you want to install this. 
activate it. And then we should be able to see it under media. Increase upload limit. And from the drop down, you can choose which one to do. Like I said, even though it says maybe here, your hosting provider might actually remove that a little bit more. So choose from the drop down what you want. Click Save Changes. And then when you go to your media, you now have the changes here. And if you're working with images on your website, check out this video next as I walk you through step-by-step -step on how to optimize your images for the web. And I'll see you over there.